8,000 hand-carved pumpkins ready to light up the night in Westchester County. It is the return of the great jack-o'-lantern blaze. CBS 2's Tony Aiello has more on the fall season sensation now in year 19. They scrape and saw, cut and carve. Months of work for weeks of mildly frightening fun. It's the 2023 version of the great jack-o'-lantern blaze. At this point in the game, it's become a tradition for families to come back year after year with their kids and now grandkids coming back to the blaze. Artistic director Michael Nattiello is the pumpkin display pioneer who over 19 years has helped grow the blaze into a major autumn attraction. Impressive during the day, it is magical at night. Hand carved pumpkins, 8,000 of them, some real, some made of foam, glowing on the grounds of Van Cortland Manor. It's unique. It's an art experience. It's outside. It's, you know, it's like a perfect autumnal Halloween experience. Old favorites are back. The Museum of Pumpkin Art, always a scream. New additions include dozens of pumpkin pals, clowns, and aerial acrobats, including one who took a tumble. There's an elaborately engineered Ferris wheel and a circus sideshow, including strongman and sword swallower. It's an immersive experience, Instagrammable and memorable for visitors from all over. People come from as far as Japan, Europe. It's gained like worldwide popularity or no notoriety. <laughs> People keep coming, so they'll keep carving. In Croton on Hudson, New York, Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News. There's that sound. <laughs> it's fall. Big fun. <laughs>